Hi everyone, we're back for another lesson, but this time I won't be playing this. We're just gonna do some pick talk. Talk about picks. And what kind of picks do I travel on in my my mandolin case? And uh, just to give you an idea how I go about selecting a pick for this and for that. And uh, maybe it'll work for you, or maybe it'll just give you ideas and uh, picks to try out. And there are no best ones or no worst ones. It's just what feels right for you. These are the kinds of picks that I pretty much travel with. Um, you'll notice they're quite different, quite different kinds. Um, you'll say, well, aren't you supposed to be playing with a hard pick on your mandolin? Yes, it's very um, practical to have a stiff pick. You'll see why I have that one. This is just a 0.73 Dunlop Nylon. The reason why I carry that pick is because on stage I play guitar as well, and that's my main pick that I use on stage for guitar. And uh, normally when, when I have both instruments, I'm not going to switch picks back and forth. I'm just going to have a ton of these in my pocket. And uh, after playing a while with it, it's going to come... Uh, it's not going to be as stiff, it's going to be a lot softer. Then when it starts to get soft, I just grab another one and keep on playing. This is a good in-between also that I sometimes use. So I'm going to be playing less guitar and more mandolin, but still some guitar. I tend to go for that one. It has um, it's a .73, oops, um, Ultex. You'll notice it has a sharp edge. Not like the 6C that has a rounder edge. And um, you play those like oh, not. Too often, but it happens. The only downfall of those that are on stage, uh, I might break them. But I like them. I like the feel of them. And um, when I started to play exclusively mandolin for some sets, I started to play the tri pick. Those are t the two of them are uh, the prime tones, and I think uh, one point four. I think. Uh, is it 1.4? Okay, the embossed ones are 1 1.3, and this one's kind of worn out. Uh, I think that one's a 1 1.4, but and those have two different textures altogether. The embossed one, if you try them, you'll feel, you'll notice that they're um, a lot more plasticky and a lot more clicky. So if you want a brighter tone and still want that beveled edge, you know, that's a nice bright pick. The darker darker one that doesn't have the emboss is just printed on with gold leaf. That one feels a little bit more like a blue chip. It's a little bit um, more, it has more of a, it's not as plasticky, but more of a rubbery feel. A bit like you'd feel like a, um, a blue chip. But not as rubbery. It's like an in-between of the um, the embossed and the blue chip. Not bad of a pick, but I find it's kind of pretty big to use. Um, once I spotted those, the Jazz Threes, and um, there's one of my um, mandolin idols, uh, Anthony Hennigan, that passed away uh, a few years ago. Um, he always used to play with a sm very, very small tortoise pick, about that size. And he said, he was always saying if he loses that pick, that uh, he's screwed. So I said to myself, well, I'll follow his advice and I'll try them. And I really, really like those and they quickly became my number one mandolin pick. And afterwards... I found found out that you can get them with max grip on it. It's called extra grip. And uh, when I found that, I said to myself, "Well, I have to have those because I found the uh, the normal Jazz Threes were a bit slippery, 
It's just the embossing on the lettering that was the grip, and that's it. And uh, that one finished by being my uh, my forever pick, I guess, for now, until I find something else. And uh, really like them. You can try them out. Uh, most of the mandolin players are going to suggest something like this. But everything is up to you. It's whatever you like and not what they like. So I'll let you guys with that. I know there's so many pick videos out there and all sorts of players who use this and say this is the best one and this sense the that. The, those are the worst ones and this and that. But really, the only thing that matters is what you like. And uh, try a lot of them and whatever is perfect for you, stick with it and don't let anybody else tell you otherwise. If it's, if it's that one that's for you, well, great. And... Maybe if you share the one you like, you'll, you'll influence somebody else too. And they might like yours also. Never know. So that's just a quick lesson for today. Well, somewhat of a lesson, more of a discussion. But you can give me your opinions and all that. And that's it, I guess.